Welcome. So today we have Campus Conversations. Um, we want to begin with this quote, this proverb, who speaks, sows, who listens, reaps. Today the college intends to listen to the entire college constituency, students, faculty, staff, alumni, and, and other stakeholders. And we look forward to a wonderful evening. We, again, thank you for your participation. Okay, uh, many of you still may not know what is Achieving the Dream. I know we've been talking about it for several years now, uh, but th for those of you who may not know, this is a national initiative uh, across the country that Capital is part of. It's multi-year. Uh, we've been it for several years now. And the initiative is particularly concerned with student success for student groups that typically have significant barriers, uh, students of color and low-income students. Then your next question is, well, what is a campus conversation since we're here? Um, we are all really very busy people, and we don't have time to just talk about what is going on. So that's what we're doing tonight. We're taking time out of the regular schedule you know, uh, to talk about things, the whole college community. Our discussion will be led based on previous information that's been gathered from focus groups. And of course, if we do anything, we want to have good food, a good time, and good questions. So if you look around, you see the participants who, who is participating today, students, faculty, and staff. And what we're looking for is, is a cross-section of the entire college community. And this is what we have here, um, which we're very fortunate to have on this evening. Uh, why have a campus conversation? Well, the goals are very clear. We want to work jointly to promote greater student success. We recognize we're all on the same team. We have a common vision, a common mission, and purpose. We want to basically define and to continue to accelerate our shared vision, our shared ideas. We're looking for college transformation. This is one of the premier goals of the Achieving the Dream initiative. And of course, we have to understand we have a shared responsibility toward the success of the entire college. Now, this cartoon uh, says, says it all. We want to be sure we're on the same page. Uh, What's happening, you know, the man is walking in the door, there are all these newspapers on the floor, and the dog says, but I, I thought that's why you spread the newspaper. <laughs> and I think that happens many times. I, I know it happens many times in my personal life as well as my professional life. I'm talking about one thing, and the other person's hearing something else, and vice versa. So tonight we really want to make sure that we're all on the same page and understanding what each person is saying. So let's get to work. We really look forward to, your, to an, an honest and frank discussion, but we want to make sure it stays positive and constructive so that by the end of the evening, we can find solutions to where some of the problems that, are, that, are, um, that we're currently facing as a college. In addition, what we plan to do with the information in which we learned tonight, we, we plan to intend to put out a newsletter to the entire college discussing some of the solutions and, and discussions which we've had tonight. So your, your frank um, participation, honest participation is extremely, extremely important. sensitive and receptive and flexible and fluid. You also have to hold them accountable. You have to have standards. Uh, you have to be empowering. You have to empower the students, motivate the students. There's a lot that goes on. And it, it's on an individual basis. When I teach a class, I get a lot of low income, a lot of students who have kids, child care problems. This is a student that's trying to learn. as in a family thing. He's raising a, a child. Legitimate stuff. I don't know. Well, I don't know. And that's, I struggle with that every time. It's up to the student. If they want to be successful, we have things here at Capital, like the writing center, uh, math center, I use the math center too. Giving students the opportunity to do hands on work as far as special the homework basis will help students be more responsible and also being independent and achieving better grades.
Hello, everyone. Um, I moderated and recorded with the Orange Group, and although we had a plethora of unique and innovative ideas that could help promote positive change within the campus-wide community, we kind of grouped them into five main components. Uh, first, we should hire more staff to extend hours for services beyond the typical nine to five, and with more staff could offer more courses during intercession nights and weekends, and do all that we could do to offer the courses that are within the catalog, because often courses are in the catalog yet never seem to be offered. We recommend clarifying expectations for all students at every level throughout their academic career at Capitol. We um, recommend encouraging, finding new and innovative ways to encourage students to want to learn, to come to the classroom motivated and ready to rock and roll. Establishing more resources for students, uh, making them more available, and uh, providing better communication about the resources that are available. Improved communication across the board from the beginning to the end. Communication via the website, communication via um, student handbooks being um, uh, given out in classes or sent in the mail, uh, communication among the different departments, especially some kind of streamlined communication during the um, busy registration times. Better explanation of programs when students are new into the program so they have a better understanding of what the programs are. More intensive type of counseling and advising type of a session before school starts where students are learn more, much more about what classes they need to take, but more about a, a roadmap or a detailed educational plan. Let's create a college community online forum, part of our website perhaps, where a student can go in and actually give their ideas and get some feedback. Enhancing our customer service, uh, so helping our staff faculty and everyone who works here uh, to, to learn um, better how to address students, how to meet the needs of students and be more sensitive to um, their issues and concerns. Offer more internships. They feel that that will help them stay in school, get, earn some money and also get better jobs. Increase training for tutors so that the higher level courses have tutors who could be there um, during open hours to help them with the higher level courses. Write a strategic plan that includes action steps, solutions to issues raised from task, from task groups to address specific issues. More teaching styles that there's more variety and diversity in the classes when teachers are teaching that they um, try to do all the learning styles and address them and have different variety in their teaching methods. I think they loved having the opportunity to share what they felt as students at Capitol. They loved that we were asking them and, um, and they were very free, at least in our group, to share anything, which was awesome. Yeah.